Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a very quick colouring chat with you. Um, it's been a while. I've been taking a bit of time for myself doing some eBay work. Um, just a quick disclaimer, although this is a cute little book, this is an adult channel and the videos on here are made for adults and not children. We're going to be colouring in this girl from, um, <coughs> excuse me, Chippy Girls by April Amber. This is volume two. Um, I just want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, sorry, I've lost what I was looking for. This one. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not with it today. So we're going to colour in here, this lovely little girl. She's so cute. Um, I'm going to be using a mixture of Arteza Everblend markers and Touch New. It's just whatever I can find. Um, I don't want to use that. But I hope you're all okay. We are fine here, even though today, which is uh, Monday the 7th, you'll be seeing this on Tuesday the 8th, it was announced um, that tomorrow Caerphilly County Borough Council, which is where we live within the borough, is going into a local lockdown because of a spike in coronavirus cases, which is annoying to say the least because apparently you can go to the pub you can go to school and nursery and you can go to work only if it's safe but you can't go to a family member's house inside you can meet outside which is great because it's starting to be winter and you know i totally get it but for those of us who have been adhering to the rules and i've been keeping myself to myself for so long i thought i'm not seeing my mum again for a long time i, I can't cope with her And how do I explain to Jennifer after she's just got used to having her granddad back again that she can't see him? Nursery's still open at the moment, at least until they get any other word from the Welsh Government. The Welsh Government announced this, poor Caerphilly Council, they haven't got a clue what's going on from what I gather. In the sense that they've not been consulted, they've just been told this is what's happening, we're locking you down. And they're trying very desperately to get clarification from uh, the council, uh, from from the Welsh government, as to what it means for small businesses. So, for instance, pubs and restaurants, which at the moment can stay open. I can't see that happening for long. I just, I just can't. I can't see it happening for being being open for long. And um, small businesses like uh, hair salons and stuff. We don't know. As of yet, it's staying the same way. So, yeah, it's it's just, it's annoying, but it's, it's, got, it's is what it is. We have to abide by their rules for now and uh, wait to see what happens and hopefully it won't be for too long at least I hope it won't be for too long I'm really hoping it it will disappear quite quickly again and the, the things it's like I said they are actually testing more so of course if they're testing more they are going to get more results. I mean, it's good that they're testing more. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a great idea and they, they need to, to test more. Um, so yeah, from that point of view, I think it's good. They're testing uh, better. They are um, doing various you know good things that they need to do so I'm just going to give her some blue stripes in her hair
So eBay's been okay the last week. I've had a few sales. Um, I listed some Cindy stuff yesterday and sold one item already and I've listed some more today. I've had a sale today, I've got four going out tomorrow and then I'll have another one going out Wednesday. Fortunately, I have a post office not far from the nursery. So if the nursery is still open Wednesday, I will walk it down there and post it Wednesday. I promised the buyer I'd post it Wednesday. Well, I drive Jennifer down to nursery because the weather's not brilliant, it's been raining. If it's nice, we'll walk. Um, so I can still meet my mum and dad outside in their garden. But we are supposed to have some nice weather soon, so that'll be good. If we get some nice weather, it won't be so bad. It'll be, it'll be tolerable if we get some nice weather, um, which we are supposed to be, be getting, so which is great for us. Not so great if you live in the States where California is experiencing a horrendous heat wave at the moment. And I have seen photographs of traffic cones literally melting, melting in the um, streets of downtown LA. I think that's crazy. So I'm just giving her some different colors in her hair because that's nice. I can't really see what I'm doing. But... So yeah, I do apologise I haven't put up many videos lately. I've just been taking some time for myself. I've been colouring, not as much as I normally do, but I've just been, you know, I've been reading a book. I'm reading a book called The Thursday Murder Club. It's by a man named Richard Osman. He's a television host and comedian over here and uh, he um, hosts, co-hosts um, a programme called Pointless and he also ho uh, hosts something called Richard Osman's House of Games which is f so funny and yeah so we've been, I've been reading that, it's a really good read um, basically it's set in an old people's care facility where they're independent living as much as possible and they get together every Thursday, these four people and talk over cold cases because one of them who's now unfortunately um, got dementia and doesn't remember anything doesn't speak um, was a policewoman so she used to give them access to old case files and they basically try and solve them and in some cases they believe they have. It's really cool. And then somebody gets murdered, not a member of the care community, but somebody who builds care homes gets murdered and they decide they want to solve it. And it's really good because this is Richard Osman's first novel. But when you're reading it, you don't hear Richard Osman's voice. You'd think because he's so well known and you know his voice, you'd hear his voice. And I don't, I, he, the characters are so well written that I hear the characters' voices, all of them. All the old, laid, lovely old ladies, all the, uh, the old men and the characters are very well written. The police, you can, you can imagine them, you can see them, you can actually hear their voices. It's, uh, it's very, very, very good. So I am really enjoying that. I'm glad I got it. I pre-ordered it and I've been really, really enjoying it. So, so I'm going to read a bit more of that before I go to sleep tonight, hopefully. So, just a few chapters. Yeah, yeah so. It's all, all gone to pot here in Wales, I'm afraid. Um, we don't think we'll be going on holiday now because we're supposed to be going in October, which is obviously next month. Um, but at the moment we can't leave the borough. This is going to be for at least two weeks. And we've got to cancel by the 28th to get our money back. So there we go. And we'll just give her a brownie here, I think. The rest of it could be this colour. What colour is that? cinnamon it's a nice color so yeah i mean it's it is what it is we'll we'll survive i'm sure i'm, I'm just annoyed because well it's very dark isn't it that cinnamon no mind. that's a nice color um i miss my mum i missed her during the three months 
you couldn't see her uh, until they allowed it and uh, I just I want to cry I really want to cry I've got a friend who's who's disabled and she's been very seriously ill recently and she was due to go away on weekends to Winchester for a break and that's all out the window and I've got other friends who are planning trips abroad or out of the, out of the borough West Wales they can't go I mean I could use the excuse that my parents are elderly and they need me to care for them but <clears throat> they're pretty much capable of looking after themselves I did phone to let my mum know because I thought she well, I've missed a bit of her skin I'll do that in a minute um, I thought they won't know and I said if dad needs to go to Watt or anywhere out of the borough because Watt although it's only up the road it actually comes under Newport so it's out of the borough I still need to go tomorrow rather than leave it until until you know another day where did that beige go that I was using I just feel bad for Jennifer who's just who loves her granddad so much I'm just getting back into seeing him and She's going to be devastated and she's not going to understand and it's going to be no we can't go to granddad's today i'm so glad that we've got tomorrow day i'm going to spend an hour or so with them i don't care how tired i am tomorrow i'm going to make sure we spend a couple of hours with my mum and dad tomorrow before the lockdown is implemented and paul's supposed to go into the office on uh wednesday to clear his desk because they want the desk cleared because they want people back in the office but they can't have personal items on there because they need to sanitize the desks every evening and of course so that different people can work at the desks at different times um i can't see us going back to the office anytime soon now we were, we were supposed to be going back uh, start going back in october i don't think it's going to be happening because like, like i said with the local lockdowns if you can work from home work from home so I think it's gonna but the problem is I don't think this is gonna go away I think it's gonna be here for a while I'm fed up of talking about it now so I'm gonna do her um, the stars and the musical notes and the hearts down here in the little flowers that's I'm gonna do that all in a uh, glitter pen I think um, and possibly her bow I'm not sure I have to make sure I've got plenty of stuff for Jennifer to do in the house At least my mum and dad have got each other. So yeah, eBay's going okay. Yeah, I'm enjoying listing the Cindy stuff. It's very easy to do because um, it's all photographed. It's just, you know, it's all done. It, it's, the packing takes a lot longer of stuff like that. I've had to pack a lens today and packing a camera tomorrow. That, that'll that be a bit longer job. But the profit margins are much better than on clothes. Clothes are easier to list and I do have to measure them. Um, and they're easier to pack, they're a lot quicker to pack. But uh, it's nice to have something different going out, so. You never know, we might hear another kerching at some point. I hope so. I love a good kerching. I actually turn notifications off because I have my phone on silent. But I missed the kerching so much I put it back on. <laughs> Which is silly, really. It really is silly, but I, I thought, no, I want to hear the ka-chings. The ka-chings is part of the, the, the whole um, process of being an e-baby, so it's enjoyable to hear the ka-chings, you know?
do the other way around. Sorry, I'm just um, talking to myself. That's something else. No, Jade Summer talking about putting out another Chibi Girls um, one and um, asked for ideas. So I said, because they're doing countries, um, girls of various countries, it'd be nice to see them in national dress for those countries that have it. Because um, that's always nice. Um, I said, I don't care what countries, I did enjoy it anyway, but, and how about going straight to grayscale, because they do that, and then they think, and then somebody posted, well, not everybody likes grayscale, and said, well, not everybody likes line art, but I just said, well, I'd buy it either way, I just don't want to buy it twice, so, uh, I, you know, I'd prefer the grayscale, because it's, I do like the grayscale books, because it saves on the thing, and it looks good with the markers, and I like using the markers, I've got to be honest. I mean, I don't mind either way, I'll buy it anyway, so it doesn't really bother me, but I know there are people who will only wait for the grayscale, whereas I, I don't want to wait, I want them straight away. But I won't buy the grayscale and the line art, so they get a sale out of me whichever way, so it doesn't really matter. I wasn't that keen on the Colour by Numbers books either, but I still bought them. They're quite actually quite complicated, they're not very relaxing at all. <laughs> I'm just trying to sort out my Limache pens, which I'm still filming. I've got to finish a... Uh, the castle arts one I'm doing soon. I've just finished off the picture basically. Uh, probably going to be doing a lot more colouring because I can't go to my mum and dad's. So it won't take me long to sort that out because I can do it when Jen's asleep in the afternoon. And um, yeah, there we go. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the my numbers. Yeah, the Limache ones, they don't have numbers on them. So I'm trying to number them so I can pick out the colours for the colour by numbers and I've got a little pot to put them in and I'll, I will show you that at some point. There we go. That's that to be done. Now I think I'm going to give her a bare midriff so that's another bit I've missed. It's not that one. It's definitely not that one. It's not that one either. Where has it gone now? Bear. I'm not doing very well today, am I? I do apologise. <laughs> oh dear me. I almost, almost didn't bother, just simply because I'm so, I was so annoyed about the thing. But I thought, I, you know what? I haven't put a video up for a while that's not something. Um, I want some nice reds. I think we'll go with ruby and wine. Um, oh, I forgot what I was saying about, anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, oh, it's the wrong end. Is that, that's mine, right, okay. I'd just be glad when, I mean, I'm not bothered about being at home. I love, I'm going to do a lot more colouring and I want to do the Colour by Numbers book and they've got lots of um, light purple, dark purple, lilac purple, or orange, yellow orange, deep orange. So I wanted a set of pens that had a good variety, so I thought oh, I'll use the uh, Limaches. But in order to be able to put them back in the right place, I've got to number them first. So I've, I've numbered about one-fifth of the set, so hopefully it won't take me too long to do. So... Love it. So. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I said, I've listed some. It's all vintage Cindy stuff. If you watch the vlogs, you'll have seen it. Um, like house stuff. So a sink, bathroom, um, bits, bed set, dining table, settee. I haven't listed that yet, but it won't be long before I get to it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was nice to get a, a sale on it straight away yesterday. I um, wasn't expecting it, I was expecting it to sit there for a while because I had somebody watch it and I thought well, I'm not going to send out an offer because it's only been listed like 20 minutes so I'll leave it and then I was in bed and it crouching and I looked and it had sold so I was very pleased because you know it proved it was right that it was worth getting even if the rest of it takes a bit longer I've got plenty of other stock to get listed, so I will do some measuring tomorrow and some drafting and list another five Cindy items while I'm getting that stuff sorted. I was, like I said, I was going to do it tonight, but that whole thing threw me for a loop. 
Um, yeah, so I hope you're all keep well. If you're in California, please take care. Please, please take care. Um, and everybody else, just please stay safe. Look after yourselves. You are. Everybody is important. Everybody is important. A wise man once told me that. When I put myself down, he said, "No, don't do that. Everybody's important." And he is right. Everybody is important. So please keep yourself safe, healthy, and well, and just look after each other and be kind to each other and help each other out if you if you can. Because we're all in this together. It's it's our world. We have to. We just have to get on with it together and look after each other. I mean, I'm always amazed when my subscriber count jumps and I'm always amazed at how loyal my subscribers are, how lovely they are. You keep coming back and leaving me great comments and and encouraging me and giving me great ideas and information and I do appreciate it and I'm so grateful to you all I'm so glad you're all here with me and I'm gushing I know but you know you tune in you watch me colour a few pages you watch me show off what I've coloured what I've bought and I try and give you what you want if you want uh, any kind of flip through I will try and film it I've got a request for a flip through I'm going to film after I've done this as well as another flip through of a new book I got today, which they'll be going up fairly shortly. I've got loads of flip throughs to put up. I just put them up here and there when I can. I always try and include the links to them. For me, it's about enabling you guys to be the best that you can be in the colouring world. If if you're a colourist, be the best you can be. And it's, it's not about how good a colourist you are. Everybody is talented in their own way. Everybody's got their own way of doing things and, and no way of colouring is right or wrong. Because just because I do it one way doesn't mean to say you have to, you do it your way. If you like my way and want to try it, that's cool. Same as I'll watch some videos and I'll think, oh, I'm going to try that and it might work for me. And if it does, I'll use it. And if it doesn't, I'll think, well, OK, but I'm glad I tried. That's one thing is I'm always trying to learn new things. I'm always trying to keep going. I There were a couple of very very famous quotes I like and I'm not preaching it's just I do totally I believe in them I never used to um and they're all about boredom I used to be bored when I was a youngster but as I get older I find I don't have time to be bored there's not enough time to be bored in this life there's too much to see there's too much to learn there's too much to listen to even in lockdown you can fill your time if you want to there's too much to colour as you can see and those two quotes are, the first one is Zelda Fitzgerald, who was Scott, F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife. She wrote, she refused to be bored simply because she wasn't boring. And I completely agree with that. I'm not boring, so I will not be bored. And the other one is from Terry Pratchett's Hogfather, the TV series. This, the quote is similar in the book, but it's not identical. But the, the, the TV one is, is the one I'm going to use. And it is, Death is talking to his granddaughter, Susan, about humans and uh, the human mind. And he says, humans are so interesting. In a universe filled with wonders, they invented boredom. And to me, that just says it all. He's, it's right. You know, there are so many wonderful things on our planet alone to learn history and um, anthropology and all that good stuff and different people and, and their cultures. Why, why why be bored? You know, when, when I haven't got anything to do and I just sit there and I don't do anything, I am not bored. I just sit there and I'm like, oh, this is nice, you know, because I fill my time. I mean, yes, I've got Jennifer and she fills up a lot of time. I mean, there are so many good quotes out there in pop culture that, you know, I'm going to give you one now. I'm not going to tell you who said it. I want you to tell me in the comments below if you know who said this quote. And I've, I've got to get it right. The quote is, The hardest thing to do in this world is to live in it. Be brave. 
live. If you can tell me who said that. It is one of my favourite quotes. I think it's on my Facebook, under my quotes on Facebook. It used to be. Um, I've got a few on there. But uh, yeah, I, I don't do boredom. There's always something I can find to fill my mind, whether it's a, a book or a TV programme, documentary, entertainment. We're currently watching um, the new Strike series, um, which I can't remember what it's called, White something, uh, but it's really good. I, I, we've watched the other three and I really enjoyed them and now we're watching the, the new one and it's on, on a, I think it was on Saturday and Sunday night and uh, we're, we've only got part three to go. Um, but we don't watch it when it's on, we record it and watch it when we're ready. We watched uh, one tonight. So we'll probably watch another one tomorrow. It's very good. Tom Burke is absolutely brilliant. A strike. Really, really do enjoy the programme, so. Of course it was during that time we found out about the lockdown, so it took us longer to wa watch it than we would normally. So, I said it's getting on so I'm probably just going to finish the curtains and then I'll call it a night and then we'll do a bit more tomorrow I think they're curtains that's what I'm doing them as anyway there's only then a uh, eye dress hands I might I might do a bow I might not and then this stuff which will be all glitter and the stage I might do the stage actually before I finish let's see because we're heading up to 30 minutes and the camera turns off at 30 and I've still got the two flip throughs to do. Which is fine. So. so, tomorrow I've got pack one item so far. You never might get some more sales overnight or tomorrow morning. If I do, Fabo, if I don't, I'm, uh, it's not the end of the world, don't much care. I make I make my money, I make a bit of money, uh, I make a bit of profit, I cover my fees, I cover my outgoings, that's all that matters at the moment. I'm trying to increase it so that one day, if we ever get out of this situation, it might be able to become my main income. But at the moment, I'm glad I've got my, my normal job. But uh, it is what it is, and we just get on with it. Um, I'm happy. I am happy. I'm off the camera again. I'm hopeless at this today. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> anyway, I'll keep you posted as to what happens in the area and whether we're going to go get our holiday or not. I don't think we are. Um, but uh, it'd be a shame. But we have got one book for next year and we can get the money back and always do something else. We were hoping things would be getting back to normal, not going back into blinking lockdown, but... They've got to protect the population, they've got to protect the hospitals, so. I think it's annoying people because there's been no more real hospital emissions, there's been no deaths. But of course the whole point is to stop that happening, is to stop the hospital admissions, it's to stop the deaths. Which I kind of do actually get and do understand, so. It's a matter of just sucking it up and carrying on. I mean, it's the first place in Wales to actually impose a mandatory mask wearing situation. Whether they do anything or not, I don't know. I mean, I've, I had one on earlier, it didn't bother me at all, so... If it makes people feel happier, then that's fine. I don't know if it does or whether it lulls people into a full sense of security that everybody's safe. I really don't know. Are we going to see the panic buying again? Are we going to have toilet gate? I don't know. I doubt it. I think the shops will impose limits before then. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. But I think there will be more lockdowns around the whole of Wales as this goes on because 
You can see it happening in Newport because cases are rising there as well. And well, then you like Caffili will come out of lockdown, and then it'd be, be like Newport will go into it, and we still can't go anywhere. Problem is, I won't be able to buy anything at the auction house because we're not supposed to leave the county. I could say it's business related and I need to pick up stock for my business, but. There we are. I'm just going to find a nice sandy yellow colour for the stage and then that'll be it for the night because otherwise we're going to end up with nothing to do another day with this one. Yellow ochre, I think that will do all. So I'm sorry I've, I've uh, whinged on about this local lockdown a fair bit but I needed to get it off my chesticles, so to speak. Jennifer today was absolutely exhausted after the nursery. She came home and I had my lunch and she was just playing. And I said, come on, we're going to go for a nap now. Because I was exhausted, I didn't sleep last night. A touch of insomnia, hopefully tonight I'll be a better night's sleep. And uh, she didn't really want to go, but she, she did. Because she was very tired and she went to sleep. And then around four o'clock she woke up and started crying because she wanted to come out which is fair enough. Got her out, took her downstairs. At five o'clock, put dinner on, um, sat down and she's leaning on me. And the next thing I know, she's sound asleep against me. Uh, I left her there for a bit. I said to Paul, can you go and put the next part of the meal on? Um, check this and do this for me, because I can't move. Eventually I managed to extricate my arm and she just lay on the sofa asleep then. I just kept an eye on her, woke up for a tea, which she did eat most of it. And then she was really, really tired again. And she was in bed just after seven o'clock and been out. She had a little cry around half past eight. I think she probably just woke up. She managed to get us out of, out of her flipping sleeping bag, which is annoying because that bedroom's quite chilly at the moment. We have to put the heating on, I think, especially to warm that room up in the evenings. And um, she manages to wriggle out of it. I covered her up with a blanket, so hopefully she'll stay under it. I mean, obviously, I can't. I'm going to stay there watching her move every five minutes, so. But hopefully she will. But yeah, so she was absolutely out. So at the moment, nursery is still open. They haven't been told to close, so as far as I'm concerned, she can go. I can still work. If anything else, if it changes, I shall have to say to Sarah, my manager, I can't work on the phones. Nursery's closed, so... Jennifer's home again. It's so annoying because this place has only just opened and I, I really want her to stay there. She loves it and it is good for her. It's better for her than sitting watching TV when me and Paul work because we can't spend time with her. And we both have to work during the day because his job is schools related and mine is contact centre for recruitment. So. I can't work after a certain time when she's in bed, say from seven, because the lines are closed. Right, there you go. We'll have to see what happens. I'm glad. Uh, she likes her new nursery, she absolutely loves it. She comes out going, more, more. She wants to stay there all day. I can't afford for her to stay there all day, but <laughs> it's not cheap. But uh, she loves it, so as long as she's happy. She's so funny though, because in the morning she doesn't want to go in, because she's all right when she's there, but because she doesn't know the girls very well yet, because it's only been, what, four days? She still don't want to go in, she wants to stay with mummy, but as soon as she's in there and I've gone, she's fine. She does not cry or anything. She just doesn't like meeting new people, and I've got to be honest, I'm a bit like that. So she gets it from me and Paul, because he's the same. Right, I'm just going to finish this, and then that'll be enough for tonight, because that is going to be about 35 whoops, minutes. I could keep going, but I'm really tired. 
when I finish this off in the next one because it won't take long. It's just her clothes, eyes and all the stars. Oh, and her bow, obviously. I like this picture, it's cute. It's one of the reasons I like using the markers. It's quick, but the pictures look really cool as well. So I really like it. So I'll show you what we've done so far. Let me just put my uh, yellow ochre back in the Everblend case and I'll zoom out. So as you can see, we have done behind her, which is actually where the light's shining. It's a follow spot. And we've done her hair and her skin. So in the next video, we'll do all the other bits and we'll just do a full long video. We'll do as long as it takes, we'll do the whole lot, um, including all the glitter gel pen stuff and we'll get it done all in one go. And I'll make a nice second part to the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this shortish colouring chat because I know it's only been 35, 36 minutes. Please leave me a comment down below if you so wish. Let me know what you're up to. Uh, let me know what other sort of colouring books you want me to see, want to see me colouring. Have, is there a specific, oh, I can't even speak, specific supply you'd like me to use? Um, let me know in the comments below and I can certainly try to accommodate that. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um, don't forget to like this video and share it if you want to with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.